Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. It has been forever since I did a favorites video and part of it, I just feel like the end of the month just sneaks up on me and I never get a chance to do it. So I thought I would just kind of show you guys some of the products that I have been loving over the past like couple of months or so. Um, they're kind of random things, but things that I just, have been like almost game changers in my like makeup routine. So I would go ahead and talk to you guys about them. So the first thing that I have are these Precision Beauty Mascara Wands. I picked these up at TJ Maxx for $2.99. They come with uh, about three of each one of these. You have the lengthen wand, the curl wand, the define, and then the volume one. And a long time ago, I threw away a bunch of mascaras because I pretty much didn't like the wand or didn't like the formula. And somebody in the comments below was like, you know, you really should, if you don't like the wand, like try a different wand in there and see if you like the formula better than that. And I thought that was a good idea, but I had never come across anything like this before. So I didn't really ever do that. Well, now that I have these, I actually use them. Recently, and this is really jankety packaging, so bear with me. Um, recently, I pulled out of my mascara collection the Miss Manga L'Oreal Voluminous Rock, and the wand on here has these like gaps which amass mascara in them, and then it creates this like really clumpy look, which is the intention of the Miss Manga look, but I didn't like it. So I pulled out one of these wands, which are the lengthening ones, and I've been using that for the mas mascara, and I love it. I have the mascara on today. It's all I've been using for like almost a month straight, and I'm a big fan of it. I store it in this super shady uh, packaging like this. The only thing I don't like about this is that because you don't have the like actual piece here, I'm not... I think stopping bacteria from getting in there and I feel like this probably is not the most sanitary thing to do but I've not had any eye problems since doing this and I'm getting to use the mascara which I'm happy with because ultimately it's just the wand. I don't like the wand but I really like the formula of this mascara so I'm really pumped about these. If you guys see these I would definitely recommend grabbing them because you never know when that's going to happen to you when you end up not liking the wand and it's a real bummer especially with like drugs for mascara when I'm not going to do a whole lot of returning it the way I do like Sephora stuff. So I've been really happy with these and I'm excited to just kind of have these in my back stock and just use them as I need to. Other thing I've been loving are these Alme makeup eraser sticks. I was watching a video where a woman was like raving on and on about these and I thought like, okay, what are they about? First off, very expensive. They are $5, give or take, at Walmart for 24 of them. But what makes them sort of unique is that there is a liquid trapped inside the actual Q-tip. You can kind of see it here in the liquid. And this purple end, you're supposed to snap it, and that forces all of the makeup remover to go into this end of the Q-tip. And then you essentially have like a Q-tip that is loaded and ready to go with makeup remover. Now, Silly me, didn't really like think it through before I bought this, but you don't need to buy these. I could just dunk a Q-tip into the end of liquid makeup remover and it would do the same thing. So I feel like while I like these as a convenience for like if I'm traveling and I don't bring liquid makeup remover with me, I don't think that they're vital, but I like the, just the idea of them. So if you're somebody like me who would like to be able to clean up edges and stuff and you wanna save yourself five bucks, just go ahead and use liquid makeup remover for it. But since I already purchased these and didn't realize it until after, I am liking them for that. Will I repurchase them? Perhaps not, unless I go traveling. But um, it's just pretty ingenious. I like the idea of it, uh, even though you can get around it really easily. The other sort of like tool that I've been loving is the lightning shade adjusting drops from the Body Shop. Now, I was really curious about, I think it's Makeup Forever or FX Cover Drops. I don't really know. But those are mad expensive. And I was like, oh, it seems like a really cool idea. I don't know if I can justify the cost. And the body shop came into my life and they introduced this around, I think it was like December. And it kind of sat in my drawer for a while because I've been working on other face products. And then finally I pulled out a product like this. I've got probably three or four products like this Physician's Formula Foundation that are light, but they are not pale enough for my flesh. So I have gotten to a point now in my face products in particular where I'm starting to just work through things that I have that I either like 
don't really like or hasn't been the best shade for me, so I haven't been able to actually use it. So I pulled out this and it takes me two pumps and then I'm able to dispense like a pretty heavy amount of white stuff and I mix it all together, it's kind of messy, uh, and I'm able to just pat it on and it's allowing me to use this. It makes kind of the perfect color for my skin tone. Um, it really is effective. These are only like $20. The only problem I have with it is that um, it doesn't really do a good job collecting product. I see that little bubble that's forming. That's pretty common. You have to be a little bit patient and kind of work with it a little bit. But it's doing the job. It's doing what I need it to do. It's helping me use up face products, which I really, really appreciate. And I mean, I'm a big fan of it. If you're somebody who's like me, who I think struggles to get the right shade of lightness, this could be helpful. I'm pretty sure they also make darkening ones as well for deeper skin tones. So you could totally check that out if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum like me, where you can't quite get a face product to be deep enough for your skin tone. But I'm very excited about this. And I've been using it pretty consistently for like the past, I don't know, month and a half while I'm working on this guy. Um, the other things I've been loving are a few brushes, actually. One of them is a Morphe brush that I got, and I think it was like my first monthly Morphe bag. And this is the M527. It's a goat hair brush. Uh, I suggested that I use this as a blush brush. And man, this is phenomenal for that purpose. I'm really enjoying it. It's super soft. It picks up the product really easily and dispenses it on my face really nicely and evenly. Like I am really a fan of this. I like it a lot. It's just a really good quality brush. Another Morphe brush that I'm also a big fan of right now is the M330. This I think is either a blending or a crease brush, but it's also just like so, so soft. And it's just able to like quickly get any product that may have gotten a little bit clumpy or there's kind of like a weird discrepancy between your uh, crease and your uh, like upper lid shade. I just blend it out really fast. Like I'm just a big fan of this brush. It's really, really good. And I've washed these a bunch of times and there's been no like fallout at all. So big fan of these. I feel like if you want to try Morphe brushes, a good way to do that is through the subscription service they have each month. Um, Morphe posts what the brushes are so and they don't ever sell out so you can go ahead and just like see the Instagram page see what's going to come in the month and if you like it sign up for it. I have not been upset yet with the brushes that I've gotten. Um, it's really been awesome. And then the last brush that I have is quite random. This is from Royal in Lang Nickel I think. It came in a little trio I believe it was. Um, and it was for a BoxyCharm special. This though I just I love this brush. It's super weird. I love how slender the handle is on this. It makes it really easy to pack powder onto my eyeshadow lid and it's just like nice and fluffy. I don't know if you can buy this brush on its own. It says on here it's the Revolution BX80. I don't know if that's the brush name. I don't know if it was exclusive to BoxyCharm or not, but if you can get your hands on it, I feel like this is a, just a really awesome product. It picks up so much eyeshadow and then puts it on your lid and it just it just looks good. Like, I'm so happy with it. Um, the other two items that I have, one is a concealer. It's the NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Light. Um, this reminds me a lot of what I believe, I don't know for certain, but the um, Benefit, like, salmon -y type of under eye concealer that is in a pot like this. I don't know what it's called. But it really is nice for combating my under eye circles. I don't know what exactly is causing it, but I know that sometimes, not every time, but sometimes this will sink into my fine lines. I'm really actually looking for a good under eye cream that will help combat fine lines because I feel like in the past month or so, it's becoming more and more noticeable and I'm having more and more makeup sink into those lines. So either I'm looking for a primer or a... Um, under eye cream that will help fight that. If you know of any, let me know in the comments below because girlfriend's on the hunt. But I do like this for that. I've made a pretty, like this was brand new when I first started and you could probably tell I've made a pretty big dip in it. Um, this has just sat around in my concealer collection for a long time and I'm just happy to have made a cool discovery in my own makeup. The last thing that I have was actually inspired by a tag video. I filmed, and I have to refilm it now because my computer died, my blush tag video that I was doing. And one of the questions on there was like, what is one of your least used blushes? And I thought, well, a whole collection because I don't really have a face that can take a whole lot of pigment. But one thing that I kind of pulled out and was like, I never use this and 
kind of have forced myself to use it for the past month or so is my the bombs how about them apples lip and cheek palette this was all over the place when it first came out and it was one of those things where youtube like made me buy it and i cashed in my birch box points for it and I loved it. It has a beautiful mirror on it. It's got six shades. It's got these sexy looking men on it, which is what the different like shades are for. And I just never touched it. And as I was kind of pulling my blushes out for that tag, I thought to myself, this is a cream blush. Like it's not gonna last forever. You've probably had it for probably two years and you've barely touched it. Like get your life together. It's summertime. Why not try out these cream blushes? And I have to tell you, I have been loving it. I apply these either with my e.l.f. small stipple blush, my e.l.f. small stipple brush, or I apply it with like my fingers and then I blend it out with my beauty blender. Um, some of my favorite colors in here are crisp. This has like uh, almost like a glittery vibrancy to it. It's beautiful on my skin tone. It just works really well. It reminds me almost of like a um, cream version of Rockateur. It has the same effect on my skin. I'm also a big fan of Cider. I feel like that's just like beautiful neutral type of blush for my skin. And the thing that I like the most about these is that I can build them up to be super like just a big pop of color on my cheek or I can really diffuse it. I'm ironically not working on my face today to help prove that point. But these are just awesome. I'm really happy with it. I would like to say that I could make good progress on it all summer. I feel like I'm going to try really hard this summer to only use this just because again, it's relatively old, it's beautiful colors, and I just need to kind of get my butt together and work on products that are probably going to expire well before I want them to. All right, guys, those are all of the things that I have been loving. I want to know and hear from you what things you guys have been loving, especially as we head more into the summertime, which for me will very much change my makeup routine. Uh, but that's it for me. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.